So in yesterday's episode, we finally founded our own kingdom. However, I guess we're no longer at war with Sarleon, even though we did just take their castle, because of the fact that after we did take the castle, we ended up leaving the Feared's Vein, who are now mad at us, and they declared war on us. And I helped out a Noldor patrol against a Dishar Lord, which made us declare war against Dishar. So we're currently at war with two factions, and the Shar might come over and invade us. In the meantime, I'm not exactly sure how I want to grind up relation with the Noldor, because the easiest way usually to do it is to follow Noldor patrols around and help them when they fight like for example yellow's lords is the easiest because yellow's territory is right next to the noldor woods like we could kind of noldor into lord leonis's party and we could easily take him out but do we want to be at war with yellow right now like that's the question are we ready to take on yellow's full force and what if green and brown also decide to invade us on the bright side we got 4.4k rents from valor shield castle and 2k rents from fletcher i don't know if we'll get that every week like i remember in prisno you get different amounts per week Oh, and here's a Noldor following a Jatu. We could actually help the Noldor against these Jatu. We could maybe chase these Noldor into like the Jatu lands and then help them out when they are fighting Jatu. Like right here. We could help him here. We can no longer help the Jatu anymore in battles, which does kind of suck because a good strategy usually is to kite uniques over to Jatu armies. And then we help the Jatu just obliterate the unique spawn. But if you get lower than 50 relation with anything, then you can no longer help them out. Either way though, we'll help out the Noldor and we'll get some free relation with them. Negative 10 relation with the Jatu for that. What? Why we lose so much relation with them for this, I don't quite understand. We only took out 13 Jatu there. I'm not sure if we're gonna gain any relation with the Noldor. We actually did gain four. Okay, that's sweet. And we lost four more relation with the Jatu. Jatu. So in total, just with that battle, we lost 14 with them. I don't remember that ever being a thing. It could also be that we have such low relation with the Jatu now that anything we do against them is just going to make them hate us even more. Like, I'm not sure how that works. These Noldor just picked up 34 prisoners and we're going to keep chasing them into Jatu lands. Okay, on second thought, Jarl Gunder Doomseeker is raiding Fletcher and so we're going to chase him down. We get two relation with him for helping out Jarl Adis Fairhair. This was the guy that had 1500 right now and he's a beast and we're going to take him out. We only lose one relation with him for attacking him, but if we do take him out and capture him and release him, we'll gain two and then potentially more if we do talk to him later on. Holy cow, that is a big clump of units. These spears are just like a zombie zerg. They have so many shields though, so it's kind of hard to really just fire into their clump of units and actually connect. The strat is we put our units on the opposite side of them, and then I just sit like on this side and then try to have them all face me. And yeah, they're just shredding them from behind. Like they can't block from, like they can't block every direction. Oh yeah, the kills are just going up like crazy. We have so many ranges of clearing call here too. Okay, that guy's not very smart. He just definitely should not have done that. Okay, that guy did it too. I don't know why they're doing that. All right, we got 39 renown and we did capture Gundur. The defeated Lord looks at you hatefully. You fought well. So all in all, we only ended up gaining one relation with him after that, but then we did gain a gold bar. And if we do talk to him later, we should get an extra two. And finally, we got Anson back. So now we have a good amount of surgery because in the last battle, we did lose a fair amount of units without having Anson's near nine surgery. One more level up for him and he'll have nine. We got a rank up to Knight Commander and we just got a bunch of items as well. We got reinforced ranger elite armor with cape, 61 body, 27 leg. That's four more armor than the one we're currently using for body and leg armor. Reinforced dark green greaves, again, four more armor. And then these gloves are, again, four more armor. This helmet's actually really good too. 59 head and five body armor. It's only one worse than the king helm. I'm not sure I like the look of it though. Like it's got like this weird nose thing on the end. I'm not sure about the helmet. Like what do you guys think? Is that cool looking or not? I just don't feel like my nose is that big to where I need such a big nose container. I don't know. I kind of prefer the king helm. If only I could make it like a shade of green to where it would like actually blend in with the armor. Because you look at back here, like the chains just don't match colors and it just looks kind of weird. Then again, I guess I'm usually fighting like this and I can't really see the front of me. I can't really see my huge nose container. So maybe we'll just go with it for now. And we'll let Sir Jocelyn be the king for now. And we'll give him the spirited Lyrian Geldering, which is the mount we got from the quest as well. That's actually really good because it's really tanky with the 50 armor. And the speed's not bad. Like it's 42 speed and the maneuver is really good too. 38 maneuver. Another green lord attempted to raid our village and he had a lot of Sarley and Longbowman prisoners. Take all those. We'll take the knights, the squires. Should we take the brigands too just for castle defense? Might as well. Thanks for the free 5.6k. We'll stump off all the brigands at Valor Shield. They've got crossbows so they can help on siege defense. I transfer all the troops to Valor Shield Castle's garrison and it now has 351 units defending it and there are 350 solid units for the most part. Well I'd say about like 250 of them are. But now since we have our own order here, we never actually need to go back to Lyria. If 
we want to do quests for them, we can just talk to this ranger of the clarion call and we can do rivals and a challenging task right from here. Like I know we just keep doing this quest over and over and that's pretty much been the only content for like the last two videos, but it's really important that we get more relation with the rangers of the clarion call. So we're gonna do this challenging task quest. And this time we have 30 rangers of the clarion call and 45 sentinels. I don't think that was more than last time, but we do still have to get more renown than last time. We have to go up to 190 now, which I think is only 10 more than last time. I believe last time was 180. We'll start off by taking on this rival patrol and I'm really gonna try to not lose units here because it's probably my fifth attempt at doing this and I'm just trying to figure out how to like beat these guys without taking massive casualties. The strat was just to send the horse archers in and the companions and then just have them distract and we still took a lot of casualties like we have 19 wounded three dead. Only a few horsemen got into the sentinel line and they still just cleaved. There's a couple Noldor patrols. We're gonna try to see if they can pick off one of these yellow lords and I think we're gonna declare war against yellow. Oh, here we go. This lord's screwed. Yep, they got him. Yep. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. Okay, the enemy has 80 units here, but they're not all Noldor. We took out a good amount of their horse archers, but they still have a lot of, like, warriors and rangers up. So I'm just going to keep trying to circle them. and I'm actually kind of taking them out here. We took so many casualties for this though, like it's brutal. We lost one Larian Sentinel only, but nine ranges of Clarion Call. But we got 19 Renown and we killed a lot of Noldor and we didn't lose any relation with the Noldor because they ambushed us. 50 items in the item pool. Because of the fact that our party is so small, like we only had, I think 85 units joining the battle. So we could get some fat loot here. Give me a Ranger chest piece. Ah, uh, trade goods, that's not bad though. And a long sword. Two long swords actually. Taking out that Noldor patrol gave us 10k progress for the bounty hunt quest. And we're just gonna turn that in right now. We got eight relation, 26 rank points, some money, some XP. In the woods, I ran into Ithil Randir, and I also ran into Earl Aiden Redsword. He's got 167 units, and we only have 70. But if we do take him out, it's gonna be a lot of renown for the renown quest. Yeah, 47 renown for this. Like this guy is actually really good though, because he's got I think knighthood aura units. So we're gonna have to use maximal cheese strats here, starting with putting all of our archers on this hill. And I just gotta start taking out a lot of their melee. Oh, there's a level up. And distract all their Knights of the Dawn. And take out their horses as well. Here comes the Zerg. Like, they just have so many units. 160 units is quite a lot. We gotta kill them all before they get to our Archer line. If they do make it to our Archer line, like... These archers are so done for. We're kind of shredding them though, like, we're getting some work here. Oh, and then a lot of them are chasing our horse archers, I guess. Like, I sent them off into Narnia, and they're really split up. I'm getting kind of low on arrows, so I'm gonna grab some more from the stash. There we go, 89 arrows left. My HP is kind of low though. Oh, and here's the rest of their, like, decent melee. Oh no. No, no. Oh my lord, I don't know how I took zero damage there. I guess from the spears. I guess they were hitting me with spears and like... Okay, there, I'm dead. This is not good. Our sentinels are out of ammo and our rangers of clearing call are out of ammo as well. Here comes casualties. We're actually doing work here. Like the Larian sentinels, if they do outnumber their opponents, they have like these really long spears and they can like hit their spears from a good range. They actually held up really well there in melee. Like I'm pretty surprised. I thought we were just gonna lose all of them. Some did get wounded, but I mean, we only lost two dead there. And we got 47 renown. That was insanely good. We captured Aiden, we'll let him go. Sidonius Legatus is actually chasing this Noldor patrol. He thought that we would help him out, but we're gonna help out the Noldor here. And just like that, I'm pretty sure we are now at war with yellow. All right, we got four relations with Noldor. And we did capture Sidonius, who is pitiless. We'll take him prisoner. I guess there's this one over here that's maybe going to catch up to Lord Gallus. Come on, make it. Oh yeah, they got him. He almost made it into Walvin Castle, but not quite. Ambushing Lord Gallus made us lose 10 relation with the Bacchus yet again. I feel like if our relation with Yellow gets too low, they're going to send an army over to invade us. Four more relation with the Noldor, and we got Lord Gallus. Ooh. Did we get in there before Yellow's massive mercenary company got in there? Oh yeah, we did. We have 140 against 68. And this is Marius Imperator's party, Yellow's king. I guess his party was really wounded. And I think he only came out because he thought his mercenary company was going to back him up. Six renown and moment of truth. Did we capture him? Yes, we did. And we can ransom him for 27k. And now we're back up to almost 100k. We're also in negative A relation with the Noldor. We only need a more relation and then we're at peace with them. And here's a snake cult. Let's help him take on the snake cult. We got four more relation with the Noldor and we just need four more, which I think we're about to get, assuming that we can take on the snake cult. Oh yeah, 
And since our party was so small, that only gave us three relation. We need one more battle. So I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. We got in before the rest of Yellow's army could join. And yeah, we're now at three relation with the Noldor, so we are at peace with them. So we're over halfway done with the Renown quest. We have 11 more days to finish it. And we're going to keep on picking off these Yellow Lords. Oh no, the Pagunder farmers have joined the battle on the enemy side. We have 18 Renown for this one. Oh, there's a nice hill. We lost the whole one Larian Sentinel, and he only got wounded, and we got 18 Renown. And we got him. He's actually Marshal with 746 Renown. Not a bad Lord. We're going to let him go. But yeah, we're going to try to pick off a few more Yellow Lords if we can, like Lord Dion. Horse just knocked those guys over, and I'm pretty sure that was their horse. The plan is to beat down Yellow a bit, because we're going to start taking over their territory once we're done with this quest. And we're almost done. We only need to take out like a few more lords. Justice Dukes is traveling, and he's traveling right towards my castle, I think. Like, I don't know what else is over this direction. Here we go. Oh, no. I'm going to fight. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, this is perfect. We have 130 against 290. This is going to be so much renown, though, I think. 35 renown, yeah. And I actually get to control the Noldor in this battle, because we're friends now. And that was not the best way to go out. Because the problem with this battle currently is I have the Lyrian Sentinels and all the Noldor in the same exact group. And the Noldor will run out of arrows really quickly. And they're decent in melee. I kind of wish I like split up their groups. I did have the Noldor cavalry in the same group as my cavalry, which are just my companions. And so I was able to just charge them in. And they did clean up. We didn't lose a single unit. And we killed 280. Well, I guess we did lose the range of the clearing call, but he got wounded only. And we got 35 renown. We got four relation with the Noldor there. And we captured Cleon the Goddess. Over 1k renown and cunning. We will let him go. And we got a siege crossbow. Ooh. It's our second one, I think. And these are really, really good. If you want to buy one of these from the vendor, I believe it's like 10k plus. They're pretty rare. And it looks like they're going to keep going. They're following Lord Gallus. It looks like the Noldor will not help us if we do engage a battle. We have to just let them decide what battles they want to get into and we'll just help them out. And there's actually a Menheim Expeditionary Force. Wait, we're going to help these Noldor first. We got four relation with them for that. And we're almost at 15. There's a quest we can do when we're at 15. The only reason why those Doom Riders charge is because this Dread Legion was close by. And they assume that it would help. Wait, are we going to fight this Menheim Expeditionary Force? Oh yeah, we are. Okay, this is actually a huge amount right now. 34. And these guys are really good to farm. Before we enter this battle, I also put the Larian Sentinels in their own group. And what I'm going to do now and what I want to do earlier was I'm going to put the Larian Sentinels in the back more. And the great thing about these Menheim is they have these units that have no shields. Oh no, that's so much XP that I just missed out on. Yeah, the Mendenheim crossbows are pretty strong. I think that thing like one shot me. Pretty sure it was a headshot. But the Mendenheim melee units are pretty beastly if they actually catch up to you. But for a horse archer, they have no shields. And if you do kill them, I think their forlorn hopes give like 700 XP. Taking out big groups of those is a really good way to farm renown and XP. And we got 34 renown for taking them out. We did not lose a single unit too. And we're up to 15 relation with the Noldor now. Too bad we didn't get any Mendenheim chest pieces. It was real nice. And the Noldor have 350 units in that patrol right now. Because Mendenheim had a ton of prisoners and we couldn't pick any up because we're doing this quest right now. They had a lot of snake cult followers, armsmen, and cobra warriors. Which are not bad units. I really do wish we could have picked some of those up, but it's alright. The main thing is we got the Renown quest done and we're going to go turn that in right now. I've won many victories for the Order. We got 50 Renown, Honor, Relation, Rank Points. I'm pretty sure this is enough for us to rank up. And we got 14 Rangers of Clearing Call, 25 Sentinels. Very nice. And we did get a rank up. We are now Constable. We don't have any inventory space though. I settled the problem with the Knights of Raven Spear as well. Got some Renown, Honor, Rank Points. But yeah, Lordly Ranger Elite Armor with Cape. 63 body, 29 leg. That's two more armor than the one we're using. And we can give this to a companion too. Lordly Dark Green Greaves. Two more armor. Lordly Green Rounded Bassinet. 61 head, 7 body. Whoa. And then Lordly Clarion Gauntlets. 13 body armor. And a Champion Larian and Geldering. Which is really good. It's not as good as our Nolar Spear Horse, of course. But it's pretty fast. It's really tanky. Really good maneuver too. Since we have our own kingdom, we can also now hire a mercenary company. We can currently choose from any of these mercenary companies. There are a lot more, but different mercenary companies have different requirements. Mainly right to rule, and we do currently have over 30. So, like for example, we can hire the Singalian Slavers and the Vakavian Renegades. The Red Brotherhood Bane was always my favorite because it gives you a ton of units. And it is RNG as to how many units we get from this. Cost 15k, and we have to pay their wages as well. If we do leave, I think it's going to autosave. Yeah, it will for sure. I don't think there's any way to cheese this. Which to hope we get lucky. 412, I think that's pretty good. We can get anywhere from 80 to 160 guildsmen. We got 142, so that was like the upper end of that. We can get 60 to 120 thieves, so we got 98. 50 to 100 highwaymen, not that many highwaymen. But then it's 40 to 80 armsmen, we got 68. 
And those are actually really good units. I think his army is factored into our weekly cost and it costs 23k now. I hope it's factored in. <laughs> if it's not, then we might be broke after like two weeks. We're going to take out all of our non-mounted archers. 52 extra sentinels, so that's 77 total. And we're going to now take out Laria, or at least we're going to try. They have a lot of good units here. The ranges of clearing call order is established here. And so they have 52 Lyrian sentinels and 32 ranges of clearing call, as well as whatever yellow lord took his place over has special units. They have 15 iron circle centurions and 14 plague wardens, as well as 12 phoenix risens and seven knights of the phoenix. Okay, I don't know why those guys are there. Either way though, we're going to besiege Lyria and the ladders are going to take eight hours to build. All right, the ladders are done and we will lead our soldiers in a knight battle. Oh lordy lord, back up. In the tree, go tank. And then archers just get back. Okay. Okay, well that was bad RNG. I instantly got hit shot. I'm gonna have everyone just charge right away, I guess. And I'm gonna pull back the archers. And the funny thing about Lothario's units is his higher rank units are actually worse than his lower rank ones. Like his guildsmen are the highest rank. And a lot of them, if you can see in the front, some of them have crossbows, but like a lot of them don't. And a lot of them don't even have shields. But if they can do one thing right, it's being a meat wall for us. I just got some of that guy's arrows. If you walk up to an archer and you press O. Oh man, that was close actually. Give me your arrows. He gave me like not that many. And it took all of his arrows out. How are we doing so far? We've only killed 61. I think we're taking on their better units at the start though. And actually there's a baggage on this battlefield. Oh, we can actually refill our arrows. In a lot of battlefields, there's no baggage on the ground. Okay, well that just made this really easy. It's gonna take out these archers like up here on these towers because for some reason our archers do not want to target them for the most part, or they just can't hit them or something, I don't know. I think Lothar is gonna lose all of his units on this siege. Like, this is a brutal siege. For them having only 400 units, like it's not usually this hard. Oh wait, they're charging out at us. Oh, this could actually be really bad because that guy is a really decent empire unit. Oh crap, this could actually be like, I don't know, it could be good. Okay, I'm just gonna grab some more arrows. And yeah, they're actually charging out. I think they do this after some time has passed. We've taken out 172, and I guess we've just passed the threshold where they're gonna just not defend anymore. This is gonna start making it a lot easier now, because when they do charge, it's really easy to take them out. And, ooh, that's level 30. But yeah, we basically pay Lothario 15k to be a meat wall, and like, dude, after this battle, I'm almost certain that a majority of his units are gonna be wounded. Oh, I'm down. I was completely out of arrows for the most part though. The enemy still has a lot of rangers the clearing call up and a lot of sentinels up as well. If we back off here, we'll lose renown and stuff, but I think we have to do it. We lose 20 renown, honor, and some morale. And in that battle, we lost 11 sentinels, four rangers the clearing call, that kind of sucks. Lothario took massive casualties though. 371 casualties, only 126 were killed though. Dispatched 50 enemies in one battle. I get 20 renown for that, but yeah, we'll attack again. I'm really low. Like, I gotta make sure I don't get knocked out right away. We should be able to finish them off here. Like, the thing about the end of the last battle is our sentinels ran out of arrows. So, like, towards the end, we really couldn't do anything. And yeah, like, now we're actually getting a lot of kills. I think it was definitely worth it to retreat there. I don't know how much honor we lost. I hope it was just one. With a 20 renown hit, it's not bad. Like, we have plenty of renown. And renown's really easy to get. I don't know what the best play here is. Like, do I just keep shooting into this line and just rapid fire into there? I think so. Because like even if I do hit their shields, I'm doing a lot of damage to their shields. Like three AOs pretty much and will break most of the crappier shields. Maybe not like the mortal shields. But yeah, we definitely saved a lot of units lives by retreating in that last battle. If we would just charge in at the end there, it would have been a bloodbath. It looks like that's it. There's only one enemy left. Lothario's units are completely wiped. He's got six left, I think, and I'm pretty sure the rest of them are wounded. And we got 38 Renown back. We lost one Ranger in that last battle, two Larian Sentinels. Well, we now own a town, and now we have a place to sell our goods. And we can finally also build a Dowerx here, which is going to give us 600 more per week. We couldn't do this before because the Lord that owned Larry did not like us. We also now have two Orders of Clarion Call established. One at Laria and one at Valor Shield. And those are going to pump out clearing call units over time. Oh, and also we can see Lothario took a lot of casualties. He was above 400 units and now he's down to 267 max. And he only has six still up that weren't wounded. We're going to have him defend Laria for now. And we can open the Laria chest now. 
which has Noldor trade goods, a heavy Larian Geldering, a Hawkstorm bow, a lordly Noldor infantry helm. Okay, that's actually really lucky, I think. 61 head, 7 body. That's actually the same as ours. But the buying price on that baby is 69k. Does it look cooler than the one I was using? Kinda. It just doesn't really go with this armor set. Ebon Librum of Laria, which improves Noldor relations. I don't actually know if we need Noldor relations anymore, because since we have 15 Noldor relations, we can now talk to Quigfen and do this quest to destroy this Jatu army. Oh, and also since we're level 30, we can now see Lethaldrin's equipment. We're gonna give him some better gear, mainly more arrows. So now Lethaldrin has three quivers. We'll also give him Adiz's armor too. I'd rather have Lethaldrin be tankier because he's got really high archery skill. And we still have a pretty good set of armor for Adiz. But Lethaldrin now has this reinforced Ranger Elite armor with cape versus his Noldor Trin Ranger armor, which wasn't that bad. We've turned Lethaldrin into a Ranger of the Clearing Call and like the Noldor hate Rangers of the Clearing Call. I can only imagine how upset he is that we're making him wear this gear. Oh crap. <laughs> we just got ambushed by some slavers. <laughs> like, I dumped all my units off at Laria. We have Lethaldrin up, Adiz up, and me up. And then we have two Pendor Heavy Bowmen. I think both of which already got taken out. One Reckon Paintings got knocked out. I think it was Lethaldrin that got knocked out. How dare you against these plebs, man. Oh, there goes Adiz too. I don't know what happened to his mount. Like, yeah, I think when he goes to the river, it just slows him down a lot. And then you can start getting hit, like when you're walking through the river. I think that's what happened to Lothaldrin. I'll give him, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And ooh, that guy hit me. That was the first time I got hit for like the whole battle. It was one of the last two guys that hit me. But yeah, we'll head back to Valor Shield. I think we're gonna grab most of the garrison from Valor Shield, as it is really hard to hold. Pulled all the units out of Valor Shield. I'm thinking with Larry's garrison of 285 units that are pretty strong units, and Lothario's units, it should hold out. Like I don't think the Empire is gonna attack it. We're gonna do this quest befriending the Noldor, and we're gonna go search for this marauding Jatu army in the Laria Woods. The thing that sucks about this army is like Eldarian could just destroy it so easily, but unfortunately only we can fight it. This quest is actually really easy though. It's really cheesable and basically the way we cheese it is like we take out a few of them and we can just retreat and like right there we just killed six of them and we can actually leave and just like look for better terrain. And by the way, Lothario's Brotherhood is costing us 8k. Valor Shield's only giving us 2200. And Lyria is only giving us 2700. I don't quite understand that. I feel like towns should give more. In Prisno, towns give like, I think it was like anywhere from 10 to 40k. But yeah, so we're going to keep fighting these Jatu army. And ideally, we start up on a hill. Which like right here is a pretty nice hill to start off. Another shot we can use is like, I dismounted all the rangers of Clearing Call up here in front. And their horses will be like a horse wall. And if the Jatu try to charge into it, they will get stuck on the horses and like they have to navigate through them like a maze. And yeah, let's just back off here actually. We lost the Larian Sentinel. Oh no. Took our first casualty. But we killed 42 there. That was pretty good. We're getting to the point where we've pretty much taken out all their Lancers. And now it's just their Jatu Raider horsemen that are left up. And we have a pretty good position right here. And like all their horse archers ran to the wall just over this hill over here. And whenever they peek over this hill, they just get sprayed down by arrows like they're just walking into a non-stop spray of arrow fire like they peek over the mountain and it's just pretty much instantly over for them well after a good around 15 minutes of cheesing they're down to six left looks like these guys are employing their own horse wall strat well we ended up finishing them all off and did we get any items got some various loot and they had two Noldor Hunter prisoners, so we will hire them. That's one of the other few ways to get Noldor Hunters is that quest. And we got the quest done. Now it's back to Laria, where we can turn the quest into Quigfen. We get 15 relation with the Noldor, 5k XP, 3k dinars, and 20 renown. Doing this also grants us access to Elcry, the hidden Noldor castle. And we'll be exploring what we can do with that in the next episode. I also have played a bit ahead, and spoiler alert, we do end up getting attacked by the Empire. Will we hold Lyria? Find out in the next episode. Also, when you guys start getting burnt out, tell me in the comment section. I have a lot of other video ideas, so just let me know. And if you really want to see the series completed, then drop a like on the video. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.